WJR Ryan, not there. Okay, Ryan, thank you very much. These things happen. Phone number, 855-400-7282. WJR, Mark, what's your topic today? Yes, I'm curious. I have a question. Actually, I'm on my way to pick up your book. My son's in the hospital. He's been there for a few weeks, and he wants your book. So I'm going to go get your book at Sam's Club, so we'll see if we have it. A uh, question I want to pose out there is that um, Karl Marx, the father of communism, had said uh, quite a long time ago in his writings that his goal was the elimination of Western slash Christian civilization, and a couple of ways in doing it was, oddly enough, free trade and open borders. My question, and it is a question, but I don't have the answer, is who is to gain by creating a Christian Muslim war? Because it's Europe and America that are being seated. And if they quit. Well, what's interesting is that, that the Europeans are not invading Arab nations, are they? Uh, Western world. You know, do you know anywhere on earth where Europeans are invading uh, Arab nations and imposing Christianity on them? You know anywhere where that's happening? By a war between the two. No, no, we are losing the new crusade. The new crusade is that of Islam once again invading Christian lands and trying to impose their religion upon Christians. It's that simple. That's what's going on. It's going on around the world. It's not the first crusade. It's probably the fourth crusade. And the only thing that will stop the fourth crusade is what stopped the first three crusades, which is that when Christians stand up and say, no more, you're not taking over our countries. And does that answer your question? No one's to gain by the war. But that doesn't stop warmongers from wanting to create war. Thank you for the call. I mean, you're speechless in Gaza. I get it. I'll be back in a minute to take your calls right here on the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth with gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O. <laughs> Breaking news, the runaway blimp has landed without uh, incident, and uh, we understand they found Chris Christie inside. Apparently he donned his Superman suit, flew up there and entered it, and brought it to Earth simply by his girth. And that's the breaking news on the, sa <laughs> the Savage Nation. Sorry, couldn't resist combining the blimp story with you-know-who. Just for having some fun. You know, tonight are the debates. You think I'm going to watch them? Are you going to watch them tonight? Does anyone really care after all of these debates? Again, we're going to watch another Republican debate? For what reason? What, what are you going to watch it for tonight? I really want to know. In addition to talking about Government Zero, which will do your experiences, let's move on to the news. Are you going to watch the debates tonight? I don't think I'm going to watch them. I'll get the sound bites from it tomorrow. What do I care, really? You know what it's going to be. It's going to be them piling on Trump. It's going to be Carson uh, suddenly preening because he's suddenly a great candidate. A man who's never run uh, a Band-Aid stand. A man never sold Band-Aids. How can he run a country? Look what a community organizer has done to America. A man with no business experience. So now you want a surgeon without business experience to run America? Well, at least a surgeon is not a community organizer. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. At least he's a pediatric neurosurgeon, and you can't fake that one. You know what I'm saying? That's not ethnic studies where you can give yourself an A and, and write an article for your own journal. I mean, either you cut the mustard, as we used to say when I was in college, or you don't. He cuts the mustard. Fine man. Love him. Not a presidential, not presidential material. And I want to say something else about Ben Carson. His handlers will not permit him to come on this show. How come Trump has been on the show three to five times? Carson is afraid to come on the Savage Nation. Cruz is afraid to come on the Savage Nation. Rubio I wouldn't have on the Savage Nation. Answer that question. Answer that question. Romney wouldn't come on this show. He didn't win, did he? Right? Okay, Trump comes on the show. Carson is afraid to come on the show. What does that tell you? Huh? KKOH, Reno, Larry, thank you for calling. You're on the Savage Nation. Hi. Um, I think we're going to be quick. So I I don't read much, and I always look for the book that's going to keep my attention. And I remember you said in the past show that the book would be helpful in converting you know, people around me. So when I look for a book, that's what I want. What? What? What's going to make me convert? I mean, what's going to make them convert? What? I just, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be obtuse. Um, I just would like it so I can really get myself to buy that book. I just don't read much. 
you you would like me to tell you what is in the book that will help you convert liberals to a more centrist point of view? Yes, sir. I, is that what you're asking me, Larry? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, at the outset of the show, I read liberal statements that are normally made with answers from my book. I guess you didn't tune in at that. So I'll start with page two of answers to your question. For example, statement number seven. Liberals would say, ah, come on, Larry. The, the military-industrial complex wastes too much of our money. We don't need a big army to provoke other countries. Why can't we just stop building it up? We don't need to start any more wars. Isn't that something a liberal might say? Yes. Okay, answer pages 88 to 92 of uh, Government Zero in the Chapter Zero Military, and here's what I wrote. One paragraph. This nation faces more threats than ever before because the world is a much smaller place. We need to keep building up and researching new ways to fight wars to protect our nation and our allies. Obama and his sorority are tearing it down at precisely the wrong time in our history. Does that help you with your question, Larry? Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So now i got to go search your book. And I, you know, like I said, I don't read much. Stuff. Well, I have many, many answers for many liberal questions in Government Zero. I'll be back to give you the latest breaking news right here on The Savage Nation. Join The Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. I was waiting to uh, do the show today. You know that yesterday I did three radio sh three shows. I did the KSFO morning show for 30 minutes. I did Newsmax television for 15 minutes. I did this show for three hours. I had more energy than I knew what to do with last night. Do you know that? Go explain it. People think that stress hurts you. I've got a little news for you. I found the opposite to be true. Managed stress actually is good for you in plain English. It motivates you. It stimulates you. It cleans out your arteries. It opens up your brain. You sit around waiting. Oh, I don't want to get a stroke. I don't want to get a heart attack. I'll take it easy. You know what taking it easy leads to? It takes uh, it takes you down. It's that simple. Let's take some callers. Rich on KSFO. Thanks for calling out of San Fran Frico. What's on your mind? Thanks for taking my call. Um, yesterday's show, you shared a list of 40 things that we should do to help fix America. And I thought that many of them were just right on the money. One out, one stood out in particular, the one about taking illegal aliens that are currently in our jail and deporting them. Just makes a lot of common yeah, I, I, ne I never said deport all illegal aliens. I drive by housing sites and it's all uh, Mexicans working there. I'm not, I'm not an idiot. I see who's cooking and cleaning in the restaurants. I'm not a fool. But when I see that one third of all prisoners are illegal aliens, why don't we do the commonsensical thing? Deport them out of the prisons. Sure. I think that makes total... Now, is, is, that a, is that a conservative idea that I have, a liberal idea, or a common sense idea? It's a total common sense idea, Mike. Total common sense. Now, I see by the board that you say you're a liberal. Is that correct? I am. Okay. Some of my best friends were liberals. Of course, I dropped them all. No, I'm just joking. Um, well, let me go through some of the other points, and let's see what you as a liberal think. Four, repeal the anchor baby's law. Right now, an illegal alien who crosses our border and gives birth has automatically bestowed citizenship on her offspring. This gives an incentive for illegal immigration, not to mention endangering the mother and baby. Now, there is no anchor baby's law. As you know, it's an amendment to the, comp to the Constitution, but it could be amended again and eliminated, correct? Absolutely agree with you on this, Mike. Okay, here's another one. So you don't know whether this is liberal or conservative. Um... Make, uh, no, sorry, require government issued identification to vote. Isn't that a no brainer? That is a no brainer. You bet. Why would you want no, a non citizen to vote in the country? It, it doesn't matter whether you're liberal or conservative. Uh, let's go to another one. Repair our relations with Russia. Russia should be an ally in our war against radical Islam and a partner in the world economy. The U.S. should propose an agreement that as Russia cease any aggression outside its borders in return for assurance that the U.S. and Europe will stay out of the affairs of nations bordering Russia. Common sense or too conservative? I think it's total common sense. It's free. <clears throat> Point 13 from Government Zero, saving a nation. End all foreign aid, including aid to Israel. The U.S. currently gives $3 billion in annual military aid to Israel and five times that amount to Middle Eastern nations, most of which want to destroy Israel. We can't afford this, nor would we need to, to bribe other nations not to attack Israel with a formal mutual defense treaty in place. 
common sense or too conservative? This one I'm not really sure about. I, I think it definitely we need to look at that. I'm just not sure about the numbers. Not sure. Okay, N- next. Fund all climate science research to include the skeptics. This branch of science has become completely politicized. The reason so many scientists are willing to go along with this preposterous theory is that they are dependent upon government money. Balance the funding and we'll see a sudden uptick in skepticism about the real effects of man's activities on climate. Common sense or too conservative? Makes perfect sense. Right, because you're open to to evidence, that's all. Withdraw from NAFTA, withdraw from the Trans-Pacific Partnership if possible. That's Obama's secret trade deal. How could anyone want that? Narrow the Federal Reserve's mandate to a strong dollar and stable prices. That's an interesting one. And the H-1B visa program. Okay, let's do one that anyone can follow. Point 24. Institute a flat tax. Right now, half of U.S. citizens pay no income tax at all, while the other, other half pays progressively more as they become more productive. This is unfair and counterproductive uh, by definition. A 15% flat tax on everyone means everyone pays their fair share, as the progressives love to say. It also eliminates myriad loopholes for all sorts of special interests, including corporate American Hollywood. Common sense or too conservative? I think it makes sense. Is that a national sales tax, Mike? What, a flat tax? Is that, what does it mean? Is it a consumption tax? No, no. It means that instead of you paying 39% of your, of your income as federal income tax... You'd pay a 15% flat tax, but all the people who are paying nothing would also pay 15%. Love it. I guess he, his phone uh, broke up. Uh, how about this for point number 30? End affirmative action. Ooh, now you've stepped in it, Mike. End affirmative action. We've had a black president, black cabinet members from both parties, a black chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, black CEOs of Fortune 100 corporations and black billionaires. None of these achieved their success through affirmative action. Affirmative action is racism defined as it assumes people of color need special privileges to make it. Clearly, black Americans have proved they don't. It's time to kill affirmative action. Anyone agree with that or disagree with it? Only love this idea. It, uh, you're getting a free copy of Government Zero, which has 40, 40, 40 points to save America, 40 actions. And they're common sense. They're not too conservative. If you eliminate the label, you find out that they make common sense. It's that simple. List of 40 things, and that gentleman, I believe, is actually a real conservative. I mean, a real liberal. Sorry, I don't know him. Uh, let's see. We have a nice caller here. This is a good one. Debbie on WMAL, go ahead, please. What's on your mind? Hi, Dr. Savage. It's a pleasure. I just want to let you know I came out of Books a Million. Um, it's located in Waldorf, Maryland. It's probably about 25 miles from D.C., and they yes, were ma'am. absolutely sold out. And uh, I asked the woman, I said, how many did you have? How many copies? She said, 18. And uh, I said, well, how many do you normally order of books? And she said, oh, uh, 20, but... Uh, she, they were really surprised uh, to find that the book had sold out. They even went in the back to check. Um, That's amazing. Definitely. Well, let's hope that there's enough to satisfy the few conservatives in Maryland. Uh, you, do you live in Maryland or do you live in Washington, D.C.? I, I live in Maryland. I commute to the district every day. You know, Maryland is such a beautiful state. I don't know how the people put in such dunces to run that state. How do, how do they let Baltimore fall in the hands of these incompetents? Why has the mayor never been dismissed after the riots? Can you answer, can you answer that? I, I have no idea. I, I, we're just too close to the district as well. I, it's just, no. <laughs> well, no it's a beautiful, I love all, I happen to love all regions that are near water. I'm, I myself am a water guy, and it, it invigorates me to wake up every morning and be near the, near the water here in San Francisco Bay. And the first thing I see every morning when I walk out of my deck and rub my eyes and drink some coffee uh, right now, I'm seeing, I believe they are terns dropping out of the sky like rocks as they hunt for their breakfast. And it reminds me every morning, the minute I wake up, that there's no such thing as a free lunch in nature, nor should there be a free lunch uh, in a nation. There are too many people who are not diving for their food. They're sitting there waiting for people to put food in their mouths. And that's why we've gone broke. Sending you a free copy of Government Zero. This is the Savage Nation. It opens up one line at 855-400-7282. 855-400-7282 is the phone number. We can talk about the news as well as your experiences with looking for Government Zero. Oh, here's a good one. David on WABC. David, what are you reporting from the field? 
Right, this is David in 